Hello to pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy Alvin Drill. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace a power supply on an HP Products G1 SFF. So, but this process is going to be the same for any other model. HP, Lenovo, you build it yourself, doesn't make a difference. So the problem with, the, with this desktop computer is that the power supply was not working. So this is the replacement. This is the one we're going to change today. So I have done a video in the past on, we, on how to test your power supply if your computer is not working. So if you want to check on that video, you can click on the top right of this screen. So now, as you can see here, I'm showing you that I'm not wearing any jewelry or watches and I'm going to discharge myself of any static electricity that I might, have, I might have in my body by touching the metallic case for a few seconds. So that way I don't damage the circuitry, I mean the motherboard and all that. So like I said, this is the, 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 the replacement for the power supply. If you're interested, the link is going to be in the video description below. So now you have to track, you have to trace all the cables that come out of the power supply and are connected to the motherboard, right? So you have to make sure of that. Once you find them, you start disconnecting them like I'm doing right now. So always make sure that you follow the cable from the power supply so you, you don't disconnect something that is not. For example, this cable is connected to the motherboard but not to the power supply, okay? So make sure that you don't disconnect anything that is not needed. So for example, I'm following the cables and I have this brown one that also goes to the motherboard. I'm going to show you and you have to just you know, follow it and disconnect it very carefully, like that. And depending how many devices you have on your computer, you might have more cables connected. So now you have these kind of holders that are used for cable manage, uh, managing, uh, management. So you have to release them, the, the cables, I mean, uh, from there. So for example, these uh, these cables, the yellow, red, and black, I didn't need to disconnect them because they go from the motherboard to the hard drives, but I did it anyway, so you can see it. So as you can see, I'm releasing them from the holders and they look like this. I'm doing this because I receive another um, with my power supply. So this, uh, I'm trying to remove the cables, but this other cable, which is the sound, is in the way. So I'm going to disconnect it. And if you do that, just remember to connect it back when you are putting everything back together. So now that I have all the cables that, uh, that, are, that were connected to the motherboard, I have them like that. Now I'm going to remove the power supply itself. So allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera so you can see it better. And in this case, this power supply has three screws. In others might have four, I have seen others with two, but in this, this one it has three. So I'm going to use my Philip screwdriver, but I found out that was the wrong one. So I need my plain, plain head screwdriver. So we're going to remove the screws pretty quickly, as you can see here. And then we are going to proceed to remove it from the case itself. So. Now that it is uh, without the screws, you push it to the inside of the case and that's how you remove it. So now we're going to put back, well not put back, we're going to put or install the new power supply. This is this one is second hand, so it's not new, all right? Now we put it like this, there's only one way it can fit. So we put it like that. Now we're going to put back the screws. And while I'm doing that, this is a good time for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. That really helps me a lot, so thank you, thank you very much. So we're going to put back the screws, as you can see here, pretty quick. And once we have done that, we now have to proceed to connect everything to the motherboard, everything that is necessary to the motherboard, okay? So it has this rubber band. Allow me a few seconds so I can remove it, so we can continue. So as you can see, these, uh, these cables, the green, no, not the green, the yellow, black, and red, we don't need them yet. So we follow um, the cables, so like we did before, and we're going to connect them back. I advise you to take a picture if you have many cables, or if you don't remember, or this is the first time you're doing it, just take a picture so you remember. So now following the cables, I'm going to put, connect it back like that. I always, I always have problems connecting cables. So now I'm going to put the cables under the holders so that way it, look, it looks a little better and not a mess. And now what we are going to do is we're going to connect back the sound 
right there so we don't forget about that if we don't do that it's going to work anyway but i mean you want everything to be connected now we're going to use these cables that goes from the motherboard to the hard drives so it provides power to the hard drive how many you may have and cd dvd reader okay so here i'm trying to decide which one i'm going to connect and after you decide you connect the hard drive in this case i only have one and you might have many or maybe cd dvd reader so i have these cables that i'm not using because i only have one hard drive so i'm going to put them uh, uh under the holders and that's pretty much it oh i forgot this cable i always forget this cable in in hp models for some reason so after a few seconds i'm going to have it right and i make sure now that everything is connected so i'm sure of that so i'm going to put it back everything like it was before and i'm going to connect the monitor but what i really wanted to do is connect the power to the power supply so we connect it and right away you can see a light on the motherboard so that means this power supply is working okay not like the last one that is uh, that is dead so now uh, i'm going to connect now the the monitor and there is a sound because there is an error now uh, allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera so we can see the monitor so the the it's working the computer is working but it's telling me uh, you can see hp prodesk 600 g1 sff and the issue is the cmos battery as you can see the real time clock has occurred so replace the battery so i'm going to do that in another video but the computer is working so you you can bypass that error and windows is going to load with no problem okay so that's what i wanted to show you in this video how to replace a power supply on an hp desktop computer okay so now maybe you want to watch these two videos so thank you very much for watching if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe if you have any other comment or questions leave it in the comment section below and as always i'll see you as you know in the next video